Prices on everything from gas to groceries to housing are still rising at a rapid pace. The government says inflation rose 8.5% from March 2021 to March 2022. That's the largest annual increase since 1981, with prices rising more than 1% between February and March. The driving force behind the recent price spikes in high oil and gas prices are because of the war in Ukraine. AAA says the national average for regular now 408 a gallon down 25 cents from last month. However, looks like we still may be paying an average of about 384 a gallon for gas this summer. With us now, Diane Swank, chief economist for the audit tax and advisory firm Grant Thornton and an advisor to the Federal Reserve. Diane, it's great seeing you. This spike in inflation is pretty much across the board on everything, but food is up 8.8%. What's going on there? Yeah, it really is stunning to see the rise in food prices, especially at the grocery store. That's actually up at a double-digit rate, 10 percent. And across the board, a lot of double-digit increases. There's so many factors going into that, not the least of which is, of course, the transportation costs that escalated during the month and made it more expensive to deliver food to our grocery stores and to restaurants and bars out there. But more importantly, we also have lost, we're losing a lot of grain, soybean, corn production out of Russia and Ukraine due to the war, and it's triggering what could be a global hunger situation, which is very bad. You layer that on top of disruptions we had early on in the pandemic in, you know, meat processing plants and the proteins, pushing up proteins out there, and now we're losing much livestock to the bird flu as well, globally and in the U.S. All of this is pushing up the prices of food as well, along with extreme weather events, unusual climate, a drought in California. California, all of those things combining to give us this really horrific inflation situation that goes beyond just energy and food, but also is showing up in things like services now that we're out traveling and trying to congregate again as human beings, catching up on weddings that were delayed during the crisis. We saw hotel room rates surge during spring breaks, airline fares surge. We've also seen things like, you know, going to sporting events and going to the movies again. These are all things that were once part of everyday life. But as we reopen the doors, we're finding it's much harder to reopen the economy than it was to shut down. And the costs have been staggering. I mean, Diane, when we look at that CPI graph that we have there, I mean, everything has really gone up and it's gone up substantially. Food, almost 10 percent. Look at gas. I mean, that's out of control. But, you know, rent, 5 percent. Electricity, almost 12 percent. Try buying a car, new or used. Good luck on that. This is not something that started with the war. What what is happening, and is this our new reality for the time being? Well, sadly, I believe that we are seeing this going to be lingering. It may cool off a bit, but not enough to be cool to the touch. It will still sear and, you know, burn us and leave blisters. And I think that's what's so important. What I'm most concerned about is that shelter costs that you noted. Much of the rise in rents and rise in home ownership costs that we've seen over the last couple of years don't show up in the CPI for a year after they've actually happened, which means we've got a lot of that inflation still to show up in the measurements of inflation. We've probably already been experiencing it, but it has to show up in the measurements. And that's where you hit everything, all the basics, food, shelter, and the cost of commuting.